Peru the elephant was in her second pregnancy, but this time around the labor was long and difficult. So when she finally gave birth after hours of pain and tears, the park staff craned their necks to take a look at the newborn. But when they saw her offspring, they couldn't help but scream in shock. When the staff of the Amboseli National Park in Kenya noticed that their resident elephant Peru was exhibiting signs of imminent labor, they immediately called a vet to assist with the birth. This wouldn't be Peru's first calf because she had already had one two years before. Her first pregnancy had almost taken the staff by surprise because she had carried quite small and rarely shown signs of stress or discomfort. This time around, however, they had been able to detect the pregnancy rather early. Peru had carried pretty heavily and even a little clumsily at that. It was almost like she wasn't comfortable in her own skin and was finding the pregnancy harder than usual. Due to her clear discomfort, the zookeepers had decided to keep a close eye on her, which is why they were more than ready when she started pacing in her enclosure and trumpeting loudly. However, it seemed that this labor process would be much more difficult than the last. Peru was in agonizing pain for hours and kept crying out at her herd and the staff like she was asking for help. No amount of movement seemed to be comforting her either. She paced up and down as much as she could, rubbing herself against some trees. Her labor progressed really slowly, making it even harder to endure. Her cries began to echo out along the bush, vibrating against the cliffs of the nearby mountain range. Predators and scavengers gathered closer to see what the commotion was, wondering whether they would have access to an easy meal. Luckily, Peru had her herd around her to form a barrier of protection. They too seemed quite concerned for her, but put their main focus in warding off any unwanted visitors. The staff of the park stood by, waiting to see if she would survive the ordeal she was going through. The vet on call watched on, ready to intervene, when suddenly, she went completely quiet. After a few minutes of trepidation, a scout went closer to see if she had successfully birthed her baby, only to see something completely shocking. He quickly called everyone over, screaming in disbelief. The rest of the staff quickly ran and was faced with an amazing sight. Peru had birthed twins. This was almost unheard of. The occurrence of an elephant having twin babies was so rare, it was almost never documented. In fact, the very last time it was recorded was in 1980. Now it really all started to make sense. This was the reason why she had been so big in her pregnancy. She had been carrying two little elephants instead of one. After the initial shock and excitement of seeing the twin elephants, the staff quickly grew gravely concerned. Having twins in the wild was rare for a reason. Mammals like elephants are not designed to raise more than one young, as the act alone is usually far too strenuous. This often results in the weaker of the two babies being left behind. Their concerns became even worse when they noticed how Peru's oldest was reacting to the twins. Unlike the other elephants in the herd, she seemed quite aggravated by the arrival of her twin brothers. She did not exhibit the behavior of a loving sister at all and was looking at them with a deep scowl on her face. The staff wanted to intervene, but they couldn't. The nature of working in a national park meant that life was to be left to unfold naturally, and in turn this meant them standing idly by to see what happened. Normally, older siblings in elephant families are quite warm and welcoming to their younger brothers and sisters. However, this wasn't proving to be the case with this family. The older sister was stomping her feet near her siblings and pretending to charge at them. They were barely an hour old, but that didn't stop her from showing the rest of the herd what she thought of them. Peru was too tired to deal with her daughter, but luckily for her, that's where the herd stepped in. Elephant herds are highly functioning, tight-knit families. This meant that Peru could rely on the elder members of the family to discipline her daughter, and that's exactly what happened under the watchful eyes of the park staff. One of the older female members of the group gently pulled the juvenile elephant away from her mother and siblings, stroked her affectionately with her trunk, and slowly calmed her down. This was a huge relief for the staff. Naturally, they didn't want to see the newborns being hurt in any way, especially because their birth meant so much for the entire elephant community. They continued to monitor Peru and waited anxiously to see what the twins would do. Watching a newborn trying to get to its feet was always such a sweet sight. They would wobble like a drunkard, unable to stand up straight. In some cases, they would look like their legs didn't belong to them, and it was no different with Peru's twins. As one got to his feet, he seemed strong and quite sure of himself. He took a few steps forward, but then collapsed back onto his bottom but he was very determined and moved as quickly as he could to get back on his feet, only to fall down again.
He was quite chunky in stature, and the staff could already picture him in the future being a massive, domineering male. His brother, on the other hand, was not quite the same. In fact, he was struggling severely just to get to his feet for the first time. He was definitely trying with all his might, but his efforts didn't seem to be enough. They just kept seeing his little head bob up and down while he tried to bring his feet underneath him. This went on for a good half an hour before he gave up for a little bit. From where they were sitting, the park rangers could see that he was exhausted from all his effort. However understandable though, his lethargy was of great concern. Things weren't looking too good for twin number two. Twin number one continued to strut along awkwardly, just like any other healthy newborn. He ran over to his mother, moaning at her and touching trunks. His affectionate display was extremely endearing to witness. She motioned for him to come closer and began feeding him, but as she was taking care of him like the good mom she was, the staff also saw her anxiously looking around for her other calf. This clever elephant knew she had two babies and wanted to help out the second. When Peru saw her second baby lying amongst the grass, she became visibly worried. Despite being exhausted herself, she jumped to her feet and stumbled over to her baby. She nudged him with her trunk, and when she didn't respond, she began to let out noises of concern at him. The herd caught on to this behavior and slowly began to come closer to investigate. They all welcomed the active twin warmly, showing him physical affection as they walked by. But when they came closer to the lethargic twin, their tone changed. Their calls became low and mournful. They came up quietly behind Peru, almost in a show of solidarity, and tried to comfort her with their presence. Another mother in the herd stepped forward, leaving her own calf behind to help Peru. The two of them used their trunks to try and coerce the sweet little baby onto his feet, but he hardly responded to this. It was clear to anyone watching that Peru and the other elephant were growing quite distressed at the fact that the baby wasn't able to get up on his own two feet. They began stamping their feet, unsure of what to do. Peru began to flap her ears viciously at her baby in a clear display of frustration that did not go unseen. At this motion, in fact, the herd picked up on her distress. They too started to show uneasiness towards this situation. It was horrible for the park staff to look upon as outsiders, but there was nothing to be done. This was just how the elephants would process what was happening. The second twin looked like he wasn't going to get up anymore, and the herd was already mourning what they probably thought was his imminent passing. After all, a wild animal that cannot walk on its own is nothing more than a sitting duck, and they all knew it. But before anything terrible could happen, it seemed the little elephant finally got the message. His mother and family were there for him whether he liked it or not. They would encourage him and help him in any way they could. So, for the umpteenth time that day, he gathered all his strength and tried to get to his feet. He pushed and rocked himself as hard as he could, and when he finally lifted his body off the ground, something amazing happened. As the little elephant managed to lift his body slightly off the ground, he braced himself to fall back down again. But this time round, that didn't happen. Instead, he suddenly realized that his mother had looped her trunk around his body and was holding him up on his feet. This unexpected development instantly excited the little elephant, so much so that he managed to keep his balance when his mother finally let go. Thanks to the help of his doting mom, he managed to stay on his feet and take his first steps. He wasn't as fast as his brother, but at least he was moving. The atmosphere in the valley shifted very quickly. For the first time since the twins were born, there was a sign that everything was going to be okay. The herd rejoiced in triumph at the twins walking. This was the first and most important obstacle of their childhood, and they had successfully navigated the storm. In unison, the elephant herd members threw their trunks in the air and let off harmonious toots to let the whole valley know that their newest and youngest members were going to be all right. The staff left the happy little herd to celebrate and went back to their camp. They were buzzing with excitement at what they had just witnessed. After all, not everyone could boast about seeing a twin elephant birth in such a display of cooperation among the members of a herd. Everyone back at camp could hardly believe what they were hearing. At first, they simply thought that they were the victims of a prank joke. But when the staff showed blurry pictures of the twin elephants, their colleagues couldn't help but feel terribly jealous of what they'd experienced. So the next day, everyone at camp insisted on being taken back to where the sweet twin calves had been born. Sure enough, there everyone was able to lay their eyes on the fascinating sight. Two of the tiniest little elephant calves who were quite easy to tell apart despite the distance. Without thinking, one of the staff members took a beautiful picture of the sweet twins and posted it to his social media. 
He wanted everyone to witness the miracle of the twin birth and the close relationship that had already formed between the herd members and the babies. And from there, the pictures simply went viral beyond his wildest dreams. The photo soon received thousands of positive comments. However, the post also ended up attracting all the kinds of attention the park would have preferred to avoid. The Ambaseli National Park in Kenya was the place that foreigners came to visit when coming to Africa, especially if they like elephants. In fact, it hosted a massive population of over 1,600 elephants. People from around the world came to the park with the sole intention of seeing these gentle giants. So when the pictures started circulating all over social media, everyone started asking to see the baby calves. Everybody was swooning over the fact that something as rare as twins had occurred in an elephant birth and wanted to share in this miracle. Attention is usually positive for attractions such as parks, but sometimes it can have negative consequences too. These come in the form of greedy hunters or poachers that love to take advantage of situations like these. Thanks to the viral pictures, every poacher and hunter in the area became immediately aware that there were prized possessions wobbling along the park on tiny, unstable feet. This meant that the park needed to increase its security immediately. The park was no stranger to tragedy when it came to its elephants. In fact, in just 2017 alone, they had lost 10 elephant calves to various diseases and traps. Poaching was a horrid issue they had to deal with on a daily basis. There was nothing worse than patrolling the park only to come across an animal that had been trapped or killed. The situation had worsened to the point that they had been forced to employ over 300 scouts from their local community to protect the elephants. The scouts worked with a schedule, all taking turns to protect the beloved land they all worked and lived near. So when they got wind of the fact that there were two very vulnerable elephant calves on the reserve, they made it their main purpose to protect them. They started spending quite a bit of time monitoring the new calves for security purposes and also helped monitor the sweet animal's well-being. It was thanks to them that the increased lethargy and distress in the second twin was noticed. For a few days he looked perfectly fine, but now it no longer seemed to be the case. The scouts radioed the park vet and advised them to pay a visit to the newborn elephants. And so, the following day, he went to take a look at the second twin. He wanted to ensure that he was perfectly fine and reassure the park staff once and for all of his well-being. Approaching him, however, was not an easy task. His whole family and herd were surrounding him, ready to protect him from any intruders that seek to harm the baby elephants. They didn't quite understand that the vet had come with all the best intentions. Looking at the elephant from afar, the doctor announced that he was and would be perfectly fine. But when the elephant began to move, it became clear that his condition was definitely worse than everyone had let on. The vet immediately grew quite concerned by what he saw and could hear. The elephant was definitely not thriving in his environment. Unfortunately, there wasn't much he could do. How was he meant to help this calf without interfering with the course of nature? He had a horrible feeling in his gut that something bad was going to happen, so he readied himself to deal with any tragedy. He first got permission from the Wildlife Commission and then entered the area around the elephant with ease. At a first glance, it seemed the calf was in need of supplementary help when it came to eating, so the vet continued to observe the sweet little elephant and monitor his behavior. After a couple hours, he became convinced that a quick shot of supplements would work wonders for his delicate health. So the vet tried to figure out the best place to inject the elephant and then asked everyone on site to help him administer the shot. It was then that all hell broke loose. The elephant was horrified at the sight of the humans approaching. He had never seen one up close, and the one walking with the huge needle in his hands looked the most threatening. So when he realized they were in fact coming for him, he started to run in circles on his wobbly legs in a desperate attempt to leave them behind. Vets and park rangers usually use sedatives and darts to calm down the animals they need to treat, but this doctor needed to come closer to the calf before administering the supplements. He had to assess his weight and prepare the right dose of medicine to make sure it would be effective, but checking out the elephant was proving to be an uphill battle. Besides being scared and skittish, the little elephant also seemed to enjoy the chase. As annoying as it was for the doctor, that also meant that the calf was neurologically sound and just needed physical help. Thankfully, he was in the perfect place for this. Once the vet was able to reach the elephant, he administered the shot and kept engaging him in order to make him run. He knew that physical activity would work wonders for his health, and turning therapy into playdates would make the calf more eager to comply. 
So the vet began working with the sweet elephant every day until his older sister started copying his movements. That meant that he could leave it up to her to do the therapy with her little brother. Even though she had been so put out by the twins' birth just days before, she was now truly playing the role of an older sibling. She was just happy that her mother still showed her affection and that she now had two more playmates to goof around with. Thanks to the vet and Peru's best efforts, the second calf eventually caught up with his herd and became healthy enough to look after himself. The park got their healthy set of rare twins and many people had the opportunity to watch them interact in their natural habitat. It was a win-win situation for everyone involved and a testament to the power of nature. What an incredible story of luck and perseverance. Have you ever seen twin animals? What would you do to protect Peru's babies from poachers and hunters? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Till next time.